in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Shutdown was observed in Srinagar and most parts of the valley for the second consecutive day today against the Indian court's unjust verdict of sentencing the illegally detained Hurriyat leader Mohammad Yasin Malik to life imprisonment. Shops and other business establishments in Srinagar, Tral and other areas remained closed while traffic movement was very thin. The occupation authorities continued with heavy deployment of Indian troops and police personnel and suspension of internet service in Valley to prevent people from holding anti-India demonstrations. Indian police arrested several persons from Srinagar for taking part in pro-freedom demonstrations in the capital city yesterday. Protest demonstrations were also held in Muzaffarabad and other cities of Azad Juma and Kashmir on the second straight day today against the Indian court's verdict against Yasin Malik. The protesters, wearing shrouds and black ribbons, chanted anti-India slogans. Terming the sentence to Yasin Malik as unfair and against the fundamental principles of justice, the President of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Alvi, regretted that the Indian judiciary had always played second fiddle to the Indian political leadership by safeguarding the interests of extremist Hindu Tua ideology and denying justice to the Muslims. Senior All Parties Hurriyat Conference leader Mirwais Muhammad Umar Farooq in a statement in Srinagar said Yasin Malik has been waging a peaceful and democratic struggle for the resolution of the internationally recognized Kashmir dispute and is a strong watery of dialogue and negotiations among the concerned parties to the conflict. Another senior Hurriyat leader, Aga Seed Hassan al Mosvi al Safi, in his statement terming Yasin Malik's trial as unfair, urged the Indian government to release all illegally detained Kashmiris. Other Hurriyat leaders and organizations, including Sayyid Bashir Indravi, Khaja Firdos, Zamrud Habib, Yasmin Raja, Dr. Musab, Khadim Hussain, Sayyid Sibti Shabir Qumi, Jammu and Kashmir Democratic Freedom Party, Muslim League, and People's League, in their statements said that Indian vindictive actions against the Hurriyat leaders had failed to suppress their commitment to the freedom movement in the past and will meet the same fate in future as well. APHC AJK leaders including Muhammad Farooq Rahmani, Mahmood Ahmad Saga, Altaf Hussain Vani and Sheikh Abdul Mateen in their statements in Islamabad termed the Indian court's judgment against Yasin Malik as a murder of justice. Meanwhile, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more Kashmiri youth today during a violent cotton and search operation in Jumagon area of Kapwata district. The troops martyred three other youth in a similar operation in Patan area of Baramula district yesterday. A 35-year-old female TikToker and TV artist Amreen Bhatt was killed and her minor nephew was injured after unidentified persons fired upon them in Badgam district. Seeking the attention of the United Nations Security Council to Yasin Malik's life sentence and calling it the latest evidence of Indian persecution, Pakistan's ambassador to United Nations, Muni Akra, told the 15-member council that like previous colonialists, India has attempted to portray the Kashmir freedom struggle as terrorism despite the fact that India's persecution of Kashmiris violated international law and constituted war crimes. The chairman of Kashmir Council Europe, Ali Raza Said, in a statement in Brussels condemning the victimization of Mohammad Yasin Malik by the Indian government, urged the international community, including the European Union, to use their good offices for his early and unconditional release. Speakers, including leading members of Kashmiri community at a ceremony held at press club in Abbottabad, asserted that the sentence of life imprisonment given to Yasin Malik by the Indian court could not slow down the struggle for Jammu and Kashmir's liberation from India.